So before we can talk about our smart fridge system, we must first understand what is a smart fridge. So a smart fridge is a refrigerator programmed to sense what food products are inside of it. And they're usually bundled with other features, such as a touchscreen, searching for recipes on the internet, and playing music. So we conducted market analysis on smart fridges, and we learned that the main competitors are Samsung and LG. Common features of these smart fridges are large touchscreens, internal cameras, and playing music and pulling up recipes. However, their prices range from $2,000 to $7,000. So with our smart fridge system, we're trying to create a more affordable smart fridge. And this works by taking your ordinary fridge, placing a product of our design into your fridge, and thus it gains the features of a smart fridge. And we also call our smart fridge system an Internet of Things based product, which basically means it is a home appliance that is able to connect to the Internet and you can interface with it via something else connected to the internet, such as a phone app. And through this phone app, you can actually pull information such as the fridge's current temperature and humidity. So now here is a system diagram of our smart fridge system. As you can see, we have our sensors, microcontroller, phone app, and AWS, or Amazon Web Services. Now for the first sensor, we have the humidity and temperature sensor, and well, it collects information on humidity and temperature. Next, we have the camera module, which actually takes color snapshots of the fridge contents so you actually know what's inside of it from remote locations. Now, we move on to the RFID scanner. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification, and this is important because the RFID scanner can actually scan in RFID tags. Now, RFID tags are important because they contain information and they're actually very small so you can easily place them on products inside your fridge. And now if you do this, you'll be able to actually scan in food products inside of your fridge into our smart fridge system and that information will be kept in a database in Amazon Web Services, AWS. Moving on to the final sensor, we have the motion sensor, which, well, it detects motion. And how we intend to integrate it is every time the motion sensor goes off, it'll take a snapshot. So you can actually see maybe who took, you know, that last piece of cake that you were saving. Now, all the data collected from the sensors will be processed in the microcontroller, which is basically a small computer. And the microcontroller with its sensors are all placed inside of the fridge. Now the product communicates all the information it collects to the Amazon Web Services database. And then finally, you can pull the information on the Amazon Web Service database through a phone application. So now here's a picture of the circuit of the smart fridge system. And here's how the smart fridge system looks inside of its case. And finally, here's just a look at how the smartphone application appears. And now here is a demonstration of our smart fridge system. So here I'm just giving a good uh, viewing of the smart fridge system. It's outside of its case. And then here is a, an item that will be scanned in. And I'm about to show you the RFID tag. There it is at the top on the cover. Um, so that's actually a sticker, but we could actually make that much smaller. And so I'm about to uh, scan in the item. There we go, through the RFID scanner. So it's been scanned in. And now I will go ahead and uh, pull up the phone app. There we go, All right? Opening up the phone app. And so now I'm going to hit update. And when it hit, when I hit update, the phone app will actually pull information from the Amazon Web Services database. And there you go, you can see all the uh, information, the current information about your fridge. And that's it.